What is up, YouTubers? We have a really big day today. It's Friday. So, I talked to a couple of shops. And we have to pick up the scrap metal and aluminum. Because it's overflowing. And we don't want that to happen, so... I've got to go to the electrical supply. I don't know if we're allowed to say gray bar, but that's where we're going today. We're going to get some light bulbs and uh, hopefully they have the capacitor that I'm looking for in stock. Um, got to rebuild the light, <clears throat> but first thing we're going to do is go to the electric. Yeah, I already said that. Go to the electric supply. Pick up the trailer from the shop and then drive an hour south to another shop so we can pick up their scrap metal, then drive back like another 30 minutes, which is like in between those two shops. There's another shop, and I have to install that light. That's if they have them in stock. You know, I do have until Wednesday, so, um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys the gray bar that I'm talking about. Not the gay bar, ha, ha, ha. But anyways, good day, even though it's, uh, looks like it rained a little. But, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in a few. And hopefully, uh. Oh, good news, dude. I lost the key to the S10, the red S10. And yesterday, I was putting the motors in my garage. And my dad started going through this toolbox that I have in the back of the truck. Would you not believe it? He goes, he reaches in there, and he's like, hey, I found your key. And I was like, no, shit. You gotta be freaking kidding me. I looked for that key everywhere. I even looked in that box, couldn't find it. But anyways, I'll show you which toolbox we found it in, and uh, I bought this extra large key chain ring so that I don't lose any other keys ever again. I put all my keys together, and um, so yeah, I'll show you how big that key, that key chain ring is too. The thing is huge. Anyways, um, I think that's it. Now... I've got my crackers today, and I've got a little bit of caffeine, but we still have to stop and get gas, so I'm probably going to end up getting a Red Bull, um, as you can see, we have no gas, look at that, empty, but we good, we still got another 15 miles, uh, something like that, <laughs> alright guys, I'm going to shut this off, <clears throat> And I'll see you in like two seconds. Probably at the gas station. Peace out.
We're gonna we're gonna pull into the Wawa here and get some gas and a Red Bull. I don't know. I'm feeling the yellow Red Bull today. I don't know if I'm gonna do that uh, sugar-free stuff today. We'll see. Like in the past year, a shit ton of Wawas just popped out of nowhere. And for why, I have no idea. But I'm going to get this gas pump real quick. And then I'll turn you guys back on when we get to the um, electrical supply. Yeah. Filling up. Getting that 87. <clears throat> I'm going to try to get a diesel. Uh, personal diesel. This is a work truck. But it's nice. Does the job. Gas hot. We're going to be putting in 30 gallons right now at 26. At the Wawa 87. That 87 life. <laughs> Almost there. It's going to stop at 29. <laughs> See if we can pump in a little bit more. No lie, I've pumped in like 32 gallons one time. But that was like bone dry and super full. Alright. Chevy life, baby. Yeah, buddy. We're gonna walk into this wall while I get a Red Bull. Take you guys with me. Let's go.
just got the Red Bull sausage, uh, chorizo sausage, croissant. Very better when I get in the car. All right, so I got the Red Bull. The yellow one, I like the yellow one. I don't know why. Kind of weird, but not weird. Kind of cool, because it is cool. And then I got me some 99 cent hash browns. Dude, if you haven't had Wawa's hash browns, they are the shit. Yes, they are. And then chorizo sausage, egg and cheese on a croissant. Oh my God. That shit is so good. You got to try it. Anyways, we're about to head out. I'll catch you guys later. Stay tuned. All right, guys. <clears throat> Sorry. I said, all right, guys. We're here at the electric supply company called Gray Bar. <laughs> they just pulled in. And I'm going to go in here and get a, like a mercury-looking light bulb. And I forget what else I need to get, but... It's all in the back. Oh, and a capacitor. See if they have any in stock. So, it's for uh, rebuilding one of those big outdoor light lights. So, hopefully I can get that in and done today. And then we'll go... <clears throat> After this, I gotta go pick up a trailer for the scrap metal. Alright, see you guys soon. Waffle cup in here. Take you guys to the counter. Focus. That's what we're getting. And then this too. If it stops shaking. Focus. Isn't that cool?
pretty cool. All right, guys, we just pulled in, and we are going to load up this trailer, make sure the tires aren't flat, and uh, hook it up to my work van, and then we'll go. We have an hour drive, so I'm going to go ahead and get this loaded up on there. I'll see you guys in a, little, in a second. Okay, so for those who don't know how to hook up trailer, you gotta have a hitch under the truck. Then, oh, sorry for the finger. You gotta have a ball. We're gonna use number two. Then you have to put this pin on, kind of like this. in there. Got the pin. Push it in there. And we're in. Just lubricated everything with WD-40. Now all I gotta do is back up about a foot. Take the lock off of that. We should be good to go. This is our plug we're going to be using. Most cars have only this. But my truck has this plug adapter. Let's get to it, Pruitt.
All right, so we got this all connected. Chain underneath. Get a better angle shot. There we go. Off the ground. And right in this corner here, we humongous freaking frog. Oh my gosh. 